takes the ball back to the referee, checking his foot, and the game is on. And first to get it are down. It is James Milligan with the ball. Milligan, 70 yards out to the carry goal, right down into full forward with Sean O'Neill. Sean O'Neill with the ball, 20 yards out. It's high, and it's the point. Gets his way past there and sends the ball into Colin McAlarney. Colin McAlarney over the far side of the field. Peter Rooney taps the ball down to Mickey Cole. Peter Rooney's got the ball now for down. 35 yards out. A curling ball. They'll tap this. And it's a goal. It's a goal. It's a goal. The ball hit the upright and Sean O'Neill. Sean O'Neill, the goal. Down attacking again. A long ball twisted up by Paul O'Donnell. Comes to the side of the field. Dennis O'Sullivan leaves it uh, to Vic Fleming, who leads it to another man, but the man turns out to be Joe Lennon. Joe Lennon up along the wing. John Murphy with the ball now into the centre. Sean O'Neill trying to work his way through. A great save. Oh, a great save by Johnny Cullity. Another shot and it's a goal. And Mick's kick is high, dropping right into the goal box now. Up they go for it. Spits it across by DJ Crowley. They go for our big Pat Griffin, it is. Pat Griffin over his head. And and it has hit the upright and it's the point for Kerry. Tom O'Hare, centre half four, or centre half back, a shortest kick out again by Dan McCartan. That goes to Brendan Lynch and this teenager going racing through with the ball. He's on the 14 now. He's trying to get room to take a kick. He takes his kick and he has sent it over the bar. And Tom's kick is good, and it's over the bar. Another point, a great point there by Tom O'Hare for down. From the kick out, it's Colin McAlarney, who's having a great game in the centre of the field. It's Sean O'Neill. Sean selling a dummy, going right through now. Passes to Paddy Darty. Paddy Darty over the bar, and another point for down. And so at half time. Down of the leaders, two goals and seven points to Kerry's five points. Kerry playing with the wind in the second half. The sun not there, but the second half is on, and it's Colin McAlarney for down, opening up the play, and it's Sean O'Neill coming way down for Donny O'Sullivan, going for the ball too. John Purdy's got it now. John Purdy on the 21-yard line, a high one, and it has curled and has gone wide. Nobody marking Colin McAlarney, and Colin racing away with the ball. Mick Fleming after him now. And Colum still going on, fisting in towards Sean O'Neill, ball fisted down, Sean's got it. Fisting it across the centre now, Michael Cole, tackled by Tony O'Sullivan, back to Paddy Doherty now. Paddy takes a shot and it's another point for down. A shortish one, it comes to Pat Griffin, Pat Griffin with the ball now, he's on the 21-yard line, steadying himself, sends it high, and it's another point for Kerry. This is Damon O'Donoghue, the brother of Ford, who's full back for the Kerry team and they're trying for all their worth but they just can't wear down this down the fence and when they do well the shooting isn't the best Mick Fleming to uh, Mick O'Connell Mick O'Connell less than 50 yards out now selling a dummy and a shot that's gone right over the bar for a point for Mick O'Connell and there is a well taken point for Mick himself down towards Dennis O'Sullivan Dennis can't quite reach high enough and it's Sean O'Neill with the ball now Intended pass over to the far wing. It goes to Peter Rooney. Peter takes the shot, and it is another point. Another point for down. Sean O'Neill standing just beside the ball, signaling to his men to stand back and line the goal. And the kick by, and it's a goal. It's a goal by a goal there. You can hear the whistles from the down followers who want that final whistle to sound. But well, any moment, I would say, from the kick out, the ball goes on the loose on the far side of Colin McAlarney, who belts it into the sideline, and there's the final whistle. And Down have won the All-Ireland. And the Down followers are descending from everywhere you can think of to go in and cheer their hero. Conway, one of the patrons of the Getting Athletic Association, presenting the Sam McGuire Cup to the down captain, Joe Lennon. The 104th All-Ireland Football Final is underway. Martin O'Connell. 
dropped in. Gillick touches it down to Stafford, and the old one-two. And Stafford gets his second point of the afternoon to restore Meade's advantage. O'Rourke inside to Greg Blaney, nicely fed forward to Eamon Burns, and down, going front for the first time in the match. And who would have expected it at half-time? Down would lead by four points, half-time score, down eight points, Meade four. Counting the half-forwards and half-backs inside the 45-metre line. So the second half gets underway. Barry Breen trying to give the forward line the kind of possession which they can turn into scores. Peter Whitnell. Now to the very dangerous James McCartan. Coming down from the clouds towards Peter Whitnell and Mickey Linden. Linden gets there first. There's plenty of support play. Ross Carr there, Barry Breen there as well. And James McCartan. Little chip shot by McCartan and it's up and it's over the bar. His second point of the day. Flynn trying to go back and put in a challenge. It's with Mickey Linden. Linden yet to score in this game. Now's his chance. He's put it over. Comes back again to James McCartan. Challenged by Brendan Riley and Kevin Foley. Fell inside to Greg Blaney. Mickey Linden has got the opportunity and very brief. into a cauldron of noise, it's a sea of red and black. Hill 16, raising the decibel level. It's Liam Hayes, Meade needing a couple of scores badly. Down, trying to keep them out, Colm O'Rourke. On a tight angle, he raises the white flag. Man of the match in the semi-final, Paddy O'Rourke racing back to try and close down his face, it's coming to David Peggy, he did a goal, he's got a point. Takes it well. Another good run by David Beggy. Setting up Colm O'Rourke. Bernard Flynn, the one who takes the pass. Absolutely straight and absolutely over. Blaney. Burns once again. The midfielders who like to go forward and he's got a point, a very important point. Just as Meade had begun to impose their will on the game. Tommy Dowd. He's got support inside if he can just get loose here. Brendan McKernan sticking to his man like a leech, however. It's into Hayes. There's a goal chance for Meade here. He buries it. The second goal of the match. This time for Meade. Turn possession here into a score for down. Whitnell. Again, McCartan's outside. Likewise, Gary Mason. Again, under some considerable pressure. He kicks it and he scores. Gary Mason has kicked four points in this game. Alan Brown responding well. Mickey Linden trying to belt that ball forward. Brown once again to Terry Ferguson. They tried to engineer a score from somewhere to try and reclaim the prize that they last held in 1988. O'Rourke. And it's all over, and Down have won the All-Ireland. Down maintain a magnificent record. They've never lost an All-Ireland final. And the fans on Hill 16 are enjoying it enormously at the end of a terrific down performance. They knew they could win, they had self-belief. They got a goal in the ninth minute of the second half by Barry Breen. Ross Carr kicked five points for them, Gary Mason got four. And James McCartan was constantly tormenting a tired and beleaguered Meade defence. Meade, at the end of a long, long campaign, lose the All-Ireland in their tenth match. It's never happened before, but then Down have never lost an All-Ireland final. 1960, 61, 1968 when Joel Lennon was the team captain and now 1991, the Sam Maguire Cup goes back to the north, to Ulster, to the Ulster champions from down who win a magnificent final in the end by just two points.